Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. And welcome to the very first From the Depths mod review. At least the first one that I've ever done. Uh, I have been looking forward to reviewing mods for From the Depths um, for a long time now, and now that the game is in a mostly finished state, I feel uh, confident uh, enough that the game is stable and that we can do just that. And so here is the very first one. And we're starting off with something uh, small and simple and hopefully short. And um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's about crams. It's, uh, it is a mod I found that uh, addresses a very pressing problem that crams have in that the shells are really damn slow. So today's mod review is the Cram Booster Barrel by Diggs. And it's a very, it's the kind of mod that I really like in that it, it changes very little. It addresses a flaw with the original game, or at least arguably a flaw with the original game. And it's just, um, it changes very little, it's very simple, it's very nice. And um, yeah, so it all it does is that it adds an extra cram component, uh, which is the cram booster barrel. Which is currently at the end of this... Um, uh, uh, cram barrel right here, and what it does is very simple. It doubles the muzzle velocity of the cram cannon, but quadruples the recoil. That's it. That is basically all this mod is, and so if you download this mod, here it is. It's right next to the bomb chute. Booster barrel greatly increases both the cannon muzzle velocity and recoil, and um, I would say this mod is actually reasonably well balanced. I hesitate to say this because I haven't um, played with it a huge amount yet. By the way, I built this cruiser purely uh, not to demonstrate this mod, but um, mainly to see if the increased recoil actually was significant enough to affect smaller craft, and spoiler alert, uh, it doesn't. This um, this is not a... well, okay, this isn't exactly small, but it's uh, not a particularly big craft, and the Increased recoil doesn't seem to affect it much at all. We'll get to that in a second. So, uh, this piece can only attach to the end of the cram barrel. So, if we uh, stick a firing piece over here, and do that for a second, and we go one, two, and we put the booster barrel here, it only fits here. Uh, it uh, does not actually, wait a minute. Yeah, it does not um, go anywhere else. It does not. Um, uh, connect to like basically it you can't just put uh, the booster barrel right uh, here at the end of the firing piece it has to go on the end and um, that's a good balance choice I feel because um, uh, let's go well looking at the size of this thing you'll immediately notice it's really damn expensive it is w incredibly expensive it's 5,000 materials so I think Diggs was well aware that this could potentially be game-breaking um, when you accelerate uh, cram shells uh, from their usual 200 meters per second to 400, which puts them in uh, APS territory in terms of muzzle velocity. So if you observe uh, the shell being fired here, it's like a really flat trajectory. It's uh, not likely to miss. And, well, that one did miss, but it's a time fuse, so it's still tickled um, uh, this Marauder. And, yeah, potentially a huge balance problem, so uh, it only goes on the end of the barrel, and it um, it uh, it is very, very expensive, and it is no tougher than a regular cram barrel. So, it has got a health of 1,000, it has an armor value of 50, weight of 80, and a buoyancy of minus 41, compared to a regular barrel, which has the same health, same armor, same weight, and the, sa and the same buoyancy. So, it's basically a regular barrel, uh, with it looks like a let's see here I think this thing um, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on yeah, yeah it uses the exact same model as the bomb chute which um like understandably like um you could probably tell what it is when you see it on the end of the uh, cram barrel but it would be nice if there was a um, if a uh, new mesh was made for it, but I understand that uh, making new meshes is kind of difficult, especially if you have no idea how to do that. So I understand that Diggs, uh, why Diggs might not want to do that. And um, 
yeah, so pros of this mod. It seems fairly well balanced, like um, things that are basically immune to cramp cannons. And so uh, I am going to spawn in uh, an enemy version of uh, this thing. So we're going to go here, and I believe... Yep, no, I, that didn't work. That did not work. Uh, that was really... Sorry, babe, you gotta die. So let's, um, let's spawn in something that is basically got good cram defenses. Which is this thing, because it does have good cram defenses. It has missile interceptors. So... We have to see, actually, if uh, it manages to zap that particular cram shell out of the sky. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let's see. Probably we'll be able to manage this. Assuming it's not wasting all its interceptors on other things. Wait for it. Yep. So, uh, those interceptors weren't even actually aiming for it and they managed to take it down. So, like, everything that still zaps crams, uh, lambs, interceptor sea whiz, they're probably still going to be able to do that uh, without too much trouble. Um, sea whiz might struggle a little bit, but um, I feel that interceptors and lambs won't have too much of a problem, so it won't be too broken, uh, I hope. Man, these things spit out a lot of interceptors. And of course, it's still not an amazing muzzle velocity. Like, there are people in the comments I just know who say like, oh, only 400 meters per second? What are you even talking about? So yeah, and there's there's clear pros and cons to using it, because yes, you get double muzzle velocity, but there's increased recoil, which will certainly screw with you if, um, if you're using it on a lightweight craft, like a bomber. And um, it's very expensive, and it gets shot off quite easily, so... If we disable repairs for a second, and if we say, for instance, uh, have our explosion value here, um, if this gets shot off, let's go, where is it? There we go. Uh, you'll notice that um, the, the muzzle velocity goes back to 200, so if the cram, if the cram barrel gets snubbed, um, it will lose that, so it's the kind of thing that uh, it's high risk, high reward, because yes, if you uh, stick that component on, uh, your crams will suddenly get a lot more dangerous, but um, if the fight goes on and you lose that piece, uh, suddenly your crams are going straight back to um, straight back to 200 uh, meters per second uh, muzzle velocity. And uh, so, yeah, and um, yeah, it also plays merry hell uh, with uh, multi-barreled cram barrels uh, when you do this. So if I will demonstrate that right now, I will uh, get one of my test fortresses out. And I was mucking around with multi barrel crams again. These aren't as useful as they used to be, because, like, simply because... Damn it. There's more diminishing returns uh, for um, sticking too many cram systems in one turret. So if we replicate uh, that feeling uh, with this, Incidentally, this is really expensive. I don't recommend doing this. Uh, here and here, and then this. What you get is um, it plays merry hell with the accuracy. So we go here. So when this thing fires again, also this thing does not all fire at the same time. So uh, this is going to be wacky. Really should have picked the other one to aim. Wait for it. Bang, 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 chitty, chitty, bang, bang. And let's follow the shell to its destiny. It's the only one that doesn't have a boost. Crap, I think I missed it. Damn it. <laughs> I can't tell what the damn thing fires, because- Ah! There's too many things firing at once. Fire again. Please. Do it for daddy. Come on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think- Where did that even go? I don't think it went anywhere. 
So, um, yeah, if you don't do the old trick of uh, use a sep having separate uh, local weapon controllers for each, um... Wait a minute. Hello? Huh. I think the thing's actually shooting itself. Yep, because I'm not seeing the slow shells coming out. But yeah, so uh, if uh, your barrels get trimmed, it is going to play real heck with um, how uh, these things actually uh, aim. So if we go there. Hopefully we'll see it. Yep, so uh, you can see that the slow shells are... Uh, you can't exactly mix muzzle velocities uh, uh, on a cannon. Uh, you couldn't really do that before, but you really can't do it with this. And, um, yeah, and you still kind of need to know how to make a decent cram cannon in order to make this, uh, this booster block worth it. And it really helps if you know how to defend, um, your, um, a cram cannons properly, because, uh, you really don't want the end of this being shot off, because this is a very expensive investment. So, on the whole, I'd say this is a pretty uh, balanced little mod. But uh, it's not perfect. Uh, one of the ways it is not perfect, and hold on there, Christmas Marauder, we're going to get to you in a minute. Uh, so one of the ways that this is a kind of a, might be a bit of a balance issue is that it makes uh, longer barrels almost redundant, because um, you could try and make a super long accurate barrel, or you could just double the muzzle velocity. Admittedly, that is very expensive, because... Um, it takes, let's see here, uh, what's 5,000 times divided by 20? Uh, a lot, just way more. It's probably a lot cheaper to make a longer, more accurate barrel. But at the same time, a shorter barrel is easier to defend. You can almost completely hide it inside a turret gap. And so, you'll see here, this thing is still not going to miss that much. Simply because the muzzle velocity is much better, even though the accuracy is worse. So, yeah, it, like, that is a potential balance issue, is that... It does make longer barrels seem kind of unnecessary. Uh, you could make it so uh, that uh, this thing plays, you know, does it does horrible things to the accuracy of the cram because you've jammed gunpowder into it. Would match well with the recoil cost, but yeah. Although that is horribly inaccurate. Poor Marauder, it's still in Christmas colors. Alas, we've run out of Marauders. Let's have a what's up, big juicy? Yeah, the Pajandrum is a fun thing to shoot at. So let's shoot at that instead. So yeah, and um, the recoil, speaking of, is it feels almost irrelevant. Like, I almost never get bothered by um, the recoil of crams. Um, just because, like, whatever you stick crams on usually has enough mass to handle the recoil just fine. So, and having four times as much recoil really doesn't seem to be much of a handicap and um, this thing might be too expensive so I completely understand why uh, Diggs has made it this way because of course you like this thing would can has the real potential to be overpowered but I feel that uh, making it just a lot more expensive I'm not gonna say it's lazy but um, because it isn't lazy mod making is I well, know not something that lazy people do but um, I feel there's other ways, there's other ways that you could uh, make this balance, like the recoil is a good start, you could make it mess with the accuracy, you could make it mess with the uh, detection range and stuff like that. So just making it like 5,000 material cost just makes it a little bit like overly expensive for what it does and also the risk it uh, bears. So yeah, like, I don't know, I think like the mod's not perfect yet. But on the whole, it is a very, it's a very good start, and uh, more mods like this, I think, uh, that just change a small thing, adds like one extra block that uh, people have been craving, I think would be, like, it's a good, it's a good sign for the future, I feel. And, um, just to check quickly, this mod's quite recent. Uh, yeah, it was last, uh, it was posted and last updated on the 26th of November, uh, 2020, so, uh, quite recent, lovely recent, uh, Thing. I think that's shortly uh, after the game got its full release, uh, massive air quotes. But yeah, so 
that is basically it for this mod, the Cram Booster mod by Diggs. So, thank you, Diggs, for making this. Um, I, as a uh, Cram Gunner myself, I appreciate it. I appreciate the work you put in. No idea of actually how much work it takes to make a mod like this. But yeah, well done. I do like it. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be playing around with it in the future. But yeah, it's a good it's a good start. Uh, it's a good start on the modding misadventures of From the Depths. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Hopefully to review more mods as I find them. I've already found uh, a bunch that um. Uh, uh, that interested in and want to pick apart in the future. Farewell!